Hi, I'm Karma Hill and welcome to the weekly news roundup from Jamaicans.com and Caribcast.tv covering September 12 to September 18, 2014. In this week's news headlines, Reggae icon Hopeton Lewis laid to rest, Million Man March heads to Jamaica, and a new home in New York for the Caribbean Cultural Center. Before we get started, we are excited to announce that the Caribbean Diaspora Weekly South Florida Edition will begin broadcasting on South Florida's SFL The CW Network on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. beginning on October 5th. You can find out more at thecaribbeandiaspora.tv. Off the top, in Diaspora News, from New York. Jamaican rock steady musician Hopeton Lewis was laid to rest in Bronx, New York. Lewis was best known for Take It Easy, a hit song from 1966 that introduced the rock steady sound to the world. He's also known for the 1970 festival song Boom Shaka Laka. Lewis died at his home at the age of 66 on September 4, 2013. Born in Kingston, Jamaica, he turned away from secular music in the 1990s. Also from New York, a vacant fire station on East 125th Street and Lexington Avenue in New York City, which has been closed since 2003, will soon be the new home of the Caribbean Cultural Center African Diaspora Institute following an effort that raised $7.5 million for the project. The refurbishment will restore the landmark facade of the building, while the interior will be a state-of-the-art cultural center. From Washington, D.C., Gary Dr. Dredd Hilmerfarb, a promoter of reggae music in the United States, is turning to a jerk seasoning business called Dr. Dredd's Famous Jamaican Jerk. The company is based in Hilmerfarb's hometown of Washington, D.C. He says the food venture is similar to his, his experiences at Rass Records in that both promote the positive side of Jamaica's culture. From Florida. The Haitian Caribbean Book Fair will be held at the Little Haiti Cultural Center in Miami, Florida. The fair will feature presentations by Gary Victor, Haitian novelist and playwright, as well as Edwidge Danticat, Haitian American novelist who lives in Miami. There will also be a street fair and entertainment highlighting traditional Haitian dancing and music. In Caribbean news, there have been at least 113 deaths attributed to chikungunya in the Caribbean region, according to statistics from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO. As of September 12, 2014, PAHO confirmed there were 55 deaths linked to the disease in Martinique since December 2013, when it was first detected in the area. The Coast Guard of Costa Rica recovered 1.5 tons of marijuana that smugglers had thrown into the Caribbean Sea after being chased by authorities. A tip from the United States Drug Enforcement Administration provided the Costa Rican authorities with the information they needed to find the shipment. The smugglers tossed the drug into the sea as they made their escape. Interviews with your favorite Caribbean people, a window into the way we play. The Caribbean Diaspora Weekly South Florida Edition is coming to SFL The CW Network. Tune in or set your DVR for Sunday mornings at 11.30 a.m. With entertainment, cooking, tips and tricks, and more. The Caribbean Diaspora Weekly premiering Sunday, October 5th at 11.30 a.m. on SFL The CW Network. Visit thecaribbeandiaspora.tv to learn more. In Jamaican news, Jamaican authorities who met with representatives of the Nation of Islam welcomed the group and its mission to make an official announcement that the 2014 anniversary of the Million Man March will be marked in Kingston on October 19. The delegation was headed by Ishmael Mohammed, student national assistant to Minister Louis Farrakhan, who met with Jamaica's opposition leader, Kingston's mayor the president of a theological college, and others to prepare for the 19th anniversary of the event. Dr. Carl Williams is set to take the leadership role of Commissioner of Police. He will inherit the Jamaica Constabulary Force that has seen a significant decrease in the number of murders in Jamaica during the past year.
Williams will be the 28th commissioner in the organization's 149-year history. His experience includes heading Police Area 5, which includes Spanish Town, March Penn, and Lauriston, among other places. In entertainment, the film Ching Pao, Far East Yardies in Kingston, Jamaica, has been described as a mixture of Kung Fu with Jamaican comedians and reggae music. The story follows a bouncer at a red light business who must fight evil with the help of Bob Marley as a martial arts guru who gives out essential instruction and transforms the bouncer into a hero. And in sports, Jamaican champion sprinter Veronica Campbell-Brown says she has become even more motivated to do her best following her victory in the 100-meter race at the IAAF Continental Cup in Marrakesh, Morocco. Campbell-Brown was cleared of doping charges in March 2014. She was one of two individual Jamaican winners at the IAAF competition. She took the 100 meters with a time of 11.8 seconds. In business, Jamaica's government has given its approval to Digicel to purchase an undersea fiber network across the Caribbean from Guadeloupe-based Lorette Group and Caribbean Fiber Holdings. The transaction is now completed and marks a significant step for Digicel in its move from a mobile provider to a complete global communications provider. To watch this week's Diaspora Perspective or our expose on Otto Boldon, please visit caribcast.tv. As always, if you have an opinion, please share it with us at jamaicans.com. For more headlines and the news in detail, visit jamaicans.com and follow them on Twitter and Facebook. For live Caribbean TV anywhere in the world, order Cabcast on your Roku device, visit cabcast.tv or download the app. I'm Karma Hill. For all of us at jamaicans.com and cabcast.tv, keep on keeping on. We'll see you next time on the Weekly News Roundup.